This was basically built for the discerning few who wants to have something different and enjoy. And ultimately, it's a conversation piece. This is something that not too many people have. This is an LC200, a very popular, a very common a vehicle that every politico and every person who's kind of made it in life has. So everybody's extremely familiar with this car. Now this is my personal car. We made it the way it is because it's the way I like it. So everybody's familiar with this car, 4.5 liter diesel, cold air conditioning, walang problema, very reliable, very comfortable to drive, and it's absolutely Toyota, right? And then there's this. We have today the Rieger LX1 adventure vehicle. It's a luxury adventure vehicle that's based off the Toyota Mega Cruiser platform. Now, it does have a diesel engine, very high amount of output on torque and horsepower, and it can pretty much haul anything. So, the reason why we showed you this LC200 versus this mega cruiser, this absolutely insane expedition, luxury expedition vehicle, is so you guys can see the scale of the difference between the diversity that Toyota is able to build. So let's go to the Rigor LX1. I'd like to start the review from the back. This is not your regular big size SUV. The attention to detail that was done on this vehicle is by far one of the best ones I've seen. And this is proudly Filipino made. From the wicker material that was used to the high grade leather to the teak wood floor. You know, you could easily use plywood. You know, varnish it, treat it, looks the same. But everybody that knows teak wood knows that this is a wood that's gonna last you a lifetime, right? And it's not cheap. The leather seats, this movable chest that you can have drinks with your friends or Play sungka or pusoy while going on Endex, right? Even has a huge air conditioner, which is absolutely cold. So this is a luxury expedition vehicle that's built to basically tackle any terrain, bring you to any location you want at a flick of a finger. All right, so this is what? You can fit about eight passengers easily here in the back. The car can easily handle that load. So the car has four wheel steering. It has a custom made ladder, including the braces on top. They're all custom made. No aftermarket company makes these. So everything had to be made from scratch, all down to the expedition chests on top that matches all the materials inside the vehicle. All the leather and wicker is made by a company out of Pampanga called Prismic and Brill. They're one of the best. They export a lot of furniture and they're not cheap. So it was made to last a lifetime. Now, I'm not going to attempt to walk up these steps because nine out of ten times I end up falling off. So, we don't have enough insurance in the company to cover me. And unfortunately, I lang yung talent. So, pag nahulog ako dyan, wala tayo video. So anyway, let's go in front. Believe it or not, it's a 4.1 four-cylinder turbo diesel overhead cam engine. 
but it has over 180 something horsepower and at the same time it has close to 200 something foot-pounds of torque at 1800 rpm so this truck is not the one na alam mo guys yung mga magtatanong na naman dyan kaya ba ko marera sa Civic yan? guys hindi pang karera sa Civic to okay hindi mo hahataw sa EDSA to this is a truck that you're gonna use to go to Tanay, to go to Pinatubo, to go overlanding and enjoy camping with the family. Hindi yung nasa EDSA kami, nakita kang umabante na kamaro, gusto mong habulin. So, hindi ka abot. Okay? So, if you look at the interior appointments of this vehicle, the leather handles, the leather wrapped steering wheel, I've never seen a steering wheel wrap like this before that matches the whole dash and the whole interior. Okay, down to the cabinetry inside the car. It's first class. All the equipment, everything that was chosen, all down to the wood, the teak wood floor panel that was used. Gone are the days na nakatapak ka sa nangangalawang na floorboard. Right? So this is done absolutely right. Now, everything flows into the front. Custom grill, custom housing, custom bumper. We have a heavy, heavy duty winch that can probably pull any SUV out of the mud. The headlights, LED headlights, all modern headlights, MIC tuning lights light bar that can probably light up any mountainside like daylight and this is what i like the most the grill it matches all the wood used in, in the interior all right guys let me introduce to you guys the brains behind the remor brand mr daniel miranda hello thank you thank you so daniel you know every i'm sure everybody's curious i know who the hell comes up with something like this, Tiba? Well, it all started in pandemic. Um, me and my uncle started creating cars for private use. So, you know, um, if you have a resort in, let's say, Calatagan, or if you have a beach house in Fuego, I think this is the perfect vehicle. All around, multi-purpose, um, and yeah, suits all you need. And it's a Toyota. Made, of course, you can't go wrong with the Toyota. You can't go wrong so with the Toyota. That's one thing that was a big factor I mean, on why I chose this this body. What? You know, everybody's gonna say, you know, dami na Land Cruiser, dami na Prado, you know, Explorer. Why the Mega Cruiser? I grew up loving off-road vehicles, um, specifically Defenders. And, ah. you know, Defenders right now are not cheap. Uh -huh. So it's not, you know, for me, I can't afford to be customizing a Defender just like this. True. So I think this is the perfect vehicle you don't see around so often. And yeah, so from then on, you know, I was testing these vehicles when it was pandemic. I was taking it off-roading, you know, testing its capability. And I think it's the best vehicle right now for me to play with and to, you know, to fit, to suit and fit your needs for this vehicle. So, yeah. I mean, you know, you look at the car, everybody's going to... Everybody does off-roading, diba? Right? But if you look at the attitude of the vehicle, you know, it's almost like pare pang off-road ako eh, pero social ako. Yeah. I mean, how did you come up with that vision? You know, that that's something I couldn't wrap my head around. That I'm sure the the viewers are because to come up with this thing and have all those interior appointments, diba? Right? Yes. What was your vision behind this? Well, you know, we wanted to up the game for SUV bespoke vehicles here in the Philippines. That's what I just said earlier, you don't see much of this. So, we just wanted to be something different. Of course, I, I wouldn't be able to do this all alone. I had my uncle John with me, who helped me with this. You know, he gave the, most of the ideas as well. And um, our, our partner, Munchet, who helped me with the interior, the small details with the vehicle. So, so yeah, these, you know, the three of us here have been working hard. On, on, on having this vehicle right now. So this is our first vehicle. We have one more going. So the second vehicle for surely will be, you know, we'll, we'll fix the small small mistakes and have a better vehicle for that. 
I, I don't see any mistakes, guys. So, so that just gives you guys a snapshot of the type of of people behind this company. You know, now they just want to make it better and better. And you know, honestly, this is their first attempt. And honestly, Daniel, for a first attempt, are you? You've done exceptionally well. Yes, thank I'm you. Truly thank impressed. You. Yeah, we, we are all very, very happy at, on how it came out. You know, um, not much we can do anymore, anymore, because as you can see, it it, it it looks good and and everything is working well now. But of course, we still want to keep on improving and being better. So that's why we're here. It's it, it, a word called sagad, and I don't know how you can make sagad a sagad. Siguro sobrang sagad, right? You can do that. But you know, one question I had is. You know, majority of people who will build something like this, they would never think about using leather and wood and wicker for the the chest on top, ano? I mean, you know, we've seen Land Rovers, diba? Normally, aluminum yan, Yes, eh, yes. Diba? So, what, what made you think? Uh, do these things last? I mean, well, what kind of... Of course, the Mega Cruiser is well known to be a car that will last your lifetime. Yes. And of course, we wanted all all the parts installed and all the furniture inside to last a lifetime as well. So of course, our four boxes over there, which, which can be used for, for anything, are all weather. So in anywhere you go, any destination, any, whether it's rain, snow, wherever you take this vehicle, yeah. that will surely keep up on how this vehicle will hold. And it's waterproof, huh? Yes, waterproof, so it's all weather resistant. tight inside, you yes, can, there's right. no... Oh. Yeah. So guys, you have to you have to you have to commend it because majority of the time, the ba yung mga top boxes natin plastic eh. You know, not that there's anything wrong with plastic, ah, but it just gives it that attitude, eh, de ba? Yes. Ibang iba eh. Yes. Yes. Iba. So so kudos to you guys. I mean, thank you, thank you. You really mixed materials and made it look very classy. Yes, yes. I mean, the touch on the grill is just, ah, absolutely great. We wanted the small details to matter the most, you know. The small details yeah. is what you look at. And as you can see, every small detail in this car, we put our effort into it. Yes. So. Just a little, you know, personal touches that I think make the car different. Yes, exactly. Yes. And like I said, guys, this is not a mega cruiser. It's a luxury expedition vehicle done by Remor and it's the first in the country. So, there's nothing better than we can talk all day about this car, but the best thing to do is we get to drive it. So stay tuned guys, follow us around. We'll be testing this car. All right guys, so we are uh, driving this uh, Remor LX1. I call it the beast. Yo, know? how's it so far bro? It's like being another, be, it's like being a kid, yeah. you know? Yeah, there was one time I was watching Jumanji, you right? know? It's like being in Jumanji. Uh, like, so we turn right? Yeah, make a right here. Turn right. So you like know? I was showing you earlier, we have the four four point steering. No? Yeah, so four wheel steering. You know? Type Guys, so, this is amazing. Good air con. Yeah. What are these, uh, ito pare, ano to mga gauges na to? So the gauges there controls all the lights. Ah, I just okay. Want, I didn't want anything fancy, you know, I just wanted uh -oh. just everything simple. So we just got a plain black switches to control all the lights in the front and the back. So you want to keep up with the theme, right? Yes, diba? exactly. I didn't want anything to be, you know, everything just simple. You know, as big as the car is, but it's not hard to drive, huh? Kasi, not at all. Pag pumasok yung ulo niya, pasok yung puwet. Exactly. Di ba? Yes, yes, yes. It's like, parang si olive oil eh, di ba? Pag yung diretso lang. Eh. <laughs> Actually, anyone can just drive this car. Anyone can drive this car. Saan so, signal light ito? Ah, ito. Yeah. Parang di LED, ayan ah, o, no? LED lights so. Yep. So we installed rigid side mirrors now. Perfect. I mean, seriously, if people miss this car, Hindi ko na lang alam ko anong mangyayari sa kanila. It's huge. 
Everybody who's coming this way is probably saying, what the? <laughs> yeah, it's a car you don't see often, huh? Zero to 60 in 100 seconds. <laughs> perfect, perfect car. Perfect car, buddy. It's, it's very roomy, it's very comfortable. It's not, you know, lucky. And fits your need, you know, you have your yeah. armrest over here. Anyways, hey. our seat belt is down here. They yeah. might be thinking no, we're not wearing seat belt. My seat belt though, guys, huh? My seat belt though. My seat belt, so. So we had a, you know, glove compartment over here, glove box, put your drinks. Your yeah, ba you know, your ba on, you know. Anything you need, we can make give it a bit of throttle and you can feel the power, no? Tagas. It's pare yung torque. Di ba yung torque niya? Yeah. Grab it off road. Kaya kaya. Yeah. And you know what's what's amazing is that that four wheel steering. Sobrang efficient niya kasi the turning radius is so small. Yes. You know, it makes the car feel small. Diba? That's right. That's right. So in anywhere you go, even the mga tight corners. Oh. Uh -oh. Kaya kaya. I think what's most important as well is the drive, you know, as well, not just the looks. No, the suspension, grab it, oh. huh? Ganda na suspension, yeah. Very good. You don't hear any other loud sounds? Voila! Or... The steering is very responsive. You know, it's not... You know, I drove the H1 before, and the problem with the H1 is it's very clunky. Mm. It's extremely clunky, buddy. Wow. All right, guys, so there you go. This is the Remor Adventure LX1. We had a great time exploring it, reviewing it, driving it around, and having a little fun with it with, uh, with Daniel, the owner of this company. And uh, I honestly think their first venture is such a great, um, great way to showcase Filipino ingenuity and the vision that this company has, I think it will go a lot of places. And to mind you, it's just their hobby. So just imagine when all the resources are put into this thing. So guys, let's support local. These companies are, are what the car enthusiast in us truly signifies. And let's support local. So again, this is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. The Remor LX1. Give us a call at Luxury Cars Manila and we're flashing on the screen the information for Remor. Give them a call, follow their website, follow their Instagram page, and uh, expect more things to come. Thanks, guys. Till next time. All right, guys and girls, thank you very much for watching our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe here on our YouTube channel. As we give away more prizes, we will be choosing more and more winners for our giveaways from our sponsors, from everyone that comments on our videos. And please tell us how we're doing and tell us what you want to see on the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Again, this is King Panda for Luxury Cars Manila. Don't forget to subscribe.